Hey everyone, it's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm quite excited, not gonna lie, because I'll be doing a last minute binge per se before we gear up for the new year of 2023. I know, right? Such a cliche, time flies by so fast, but containing within this binge list are releases that I've been wanting to check out with y'all for quite some time now as well as some of your guys' suggestions and recommendations in the comment section down below. And in this list, we have Tempest's song with Can't Stop Shining, Beautiful Lie by Ten, which I've been meaning wanting to check out, Danger by Ua as well, Sugar Coat by AB6, Copycat by A-Pink's uh, Cha Bomb, a brand new unit consisting of Charong and Bomi, of course. Nonstop by Road B. I could have by Road B. They actually got recommended on my YouTube feed, and uh, one of my friends recommended me Road B. So I thought might as well add both their debut and I believe their very first comeback within this binge video. And then last but not least, ending it off with 458 by CIX. It's been quite some time since I've checked out anything CIX related, if I'm gonna be real with uh, y'all, and I thought, okay, I might as well check it out. I'm sure it's gonna be good, or even more than uh, good, but hey, enough talk. Let's just dive into this binge now. All right, so I brought up the very first MV here, and that is Can't Stop Shining by Tempest. Now, there's two things to note here, everyone. The first thing to note is Tempest. Tempest is a boy group that I've been messing with on my own time in terms of some of their musical releases and then some of their musical releases that I didn't mess with as much in terms of taste or it wasn't so up in terms of my alley per se and that's completely fine. We all have different uh, tastes and as some of you may are familiar with the channel and uh, I, I'm very open-minded when it comes to K-pop and music providing my subjective as well as my bias side uh, to specific uh, favorite groups, idols, and artists. Now, the other thing to note is that this video is brought to you by Patreon. On my Patreon, you can go out your way and support the channel as little as $1 and gain access to so much variety year-end performances that would been checking out Lenny verse with La Seraphim. Eventually, we're getting into Harmony Forest with P1 Harmony. If you do gain access to, you get to also join our Discord where we've been messaging it up in terms of musical uh, releases. And it just means so much to me, okay? It's not, you're not obligated to do so, but if you guys do, it means a lot to me, uh, especially uh, just thinking about the good old days where I was able to just simply stay up at night as a young guy and binge so much K-pop content by my favorite uh, groups and soloists and watching V Live, uh, staying up for V Lives or the likes of Everglow and the likes of EXO and... Uh, Doing Patreon really reminded me of those early uh, days and especially enjoying those uh, variety contents with y'all is just something special. It's hard to describe, but hey, enough talk. Let's just dive into this binge now. Oh. Quite the start to this MV. <laughs> that guy has a nice smile. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Low key, guys, I'm already feeling this song. Oh, snap. It's picking up now. Man, his eyes are so dreamy, but I love this flowery scene here with the archway with the members here. Here we go. 
Okay. <laughs> I love the poppy energy in this song, especially with the retro elements. Okay! What a verse 2 here! <laughs> I love the rhythm guitar to, guitar to the electronic drum kit work. The energy is so infectious by all the members and just their overall performance of this song. Like you just can't help but dance along and but to smile. Oh, what is this bridge? Oh, that's strumming there. Okay. Papa. Man, oh man, how would I describe this song, everyone? Okay, before we get into the next MV and release, I've got to say, okay, this is what I was not expecting from Tempest, and I feel like that's a good thing. They're always out there to surprise us, it seems like, with each and every release. And considering with the releases that they put out prior to this that I've checked out on my own time. They've shown already a lot of a range when it comes to their musical releases. And in Can't Stop Shining here, it's just so happy-go-lucky, free-spirited. It's uh, very pop-heavy, obviously, with retro influences, whether it's that the light piano work that you tend to hear in-house uh, or electronic uh, music and the electronic drum kit usage with the rhythm guitar that you tend to hear in the likes of new disco or disco or even sometimes of course a uh, synth wave and in this case for can't stop shining what i'm getting i don't want to say musk but like the kind of sound that I'm getting here got me so reminiscent of the early days of Astro. If you guys are familiar with the earlier releases of Astro or Astro in general, general, you might be able to relate with that kind of sentiment because I feel like they really bring that light, pure kind of manner to this and that happy-go-lucky uh, feeling that I got in the early days of Astro when they came through with a couple of releases so far, I would say really early on into their careers. And I haven't gotten that kind of, you know, feeling for quite some time now. This kind of rush of emotions all at once that is so infectious. And I would even go as far as say it has that very poppy feel like even the likes of bts's uh dynamite you know and i'm uh saying just with that retro twang and influence in can't stop shining uh here but all in all this is a more than strong release this is actually a 9 out of 10 and dare i say so far my favorite release by tempest uh to date unless you know any other release ends up uh topping uh that and that's gonna be quite a hard 
everyone. But yeah, we're off to a great start in this binge session. I'm already um, losing my hairstyle here. I need to get a haircut uh, uh, soon because I really don't mess with this hair, but... Okay, now we're on Beautiful Lie by Tan. Now, Tan is a boy group that really took me by surprise. They have meaningful music. They had shown a lot of symbolism in their music videos. And I think meaningful is the right way to describe Tan, okay? Nothing is let out and a lot of details are considered in this group and honestly they're all of their so far all of their musical releases <laughs> surprised me but not only uh that so up in my alley in terms of taste quite surprisingly with different genres let's make sure the captions are here yeah Some acoustic guitar work. Ooh. Okay, it's picking up now. With this acoustic guitar. And the kick snare work here. What a chorus, everyone! Love the rhythm guitar with that acoustic guitar work. But just how the vocal delivery is done within the chorus is phenomenal. Okay. Okay. Ooh. You hear that, guys? Man, this song doesn't let out. I love that airy, like, breath, like, that inhale delivery, like that, it's a beautiful eye. More of a dreamy moment here with the bridge. Yeah. The choreo was very fitting to the song, too. Oh, snap! I really dig, yet again, the passion that all the members bring to the table in their music. Like, you can really see it with each and every member. And quite admittedly, um, their like makeup work for the members here and there within each and every era, it's really eye catching, right? It's really eye catching. Quite a eerie end there, but yeah, uh, Tan. I gotta say, it may not be like my favorite release to date by Tan, and it may not be so up there with their debut do 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 but there's a lot to appreciate in that song and that is the bridge but most importantly the hooks and the chorus in that song i said time and time again i just feel like the last couple of years and months we're not getting uh not every single song has uh, seems like to have uh, like a strong chorus and that's that's fair but you know at least if you have an outstanding pre-chorus have a really bombastic 
out of this world chorus that you can really bite onto and remember. And that's what Tan does time yet yet again and again ever since with their debut. And I highly recommend you guys check out their other uh, releases if you enjoyed Beautiful Lie. Or in general, if you didn't enjoy Beautiful Lie, I'm sure you're going to enjoy their other releases. But we're moving on to Danger by Ua now. Now Ua took me by surprise with Roller Coaster quite completely especially with pretty much the entirety of the song but especially with the the transitioning between the pre-chorus to the chorus in roller coaster and uh all and that's that makes so much sense considering who was working behind uh that song but it just seems like they can always hit it right when it comes to their singles all right but now we're on the danger i believe this was not a single in itself right but uh yeah Love Sweet Crazy Danger. We got the captions here as well, right? Ooh. It's like a trudging, like a cloying kind of percussion work going on here with the bass. Oh! Okay. Okay, of course. In the nana. Very quirky so far. Like it got me reminiscent of purple, most definitely. It's interesting, right? Like, this song has its light moments. Yeah. That's... Which is the vocal work. Yet, the sort of buoyant, flamboyant kind of musical production to it. Oh, we're getting more rap? Be my chef. Oh. <laughs> oh, I like the snare drums here. But I really love how colorful this music video is. Collapse. Then there's like this very intriguing like bass work to it. Which is quite the interesting moment in the song. But I feel like as the song progresses, ain't it getting a little bit more catchier by the second? Don't stop the thrill. Ooh ah. Whoa! What is this dance break? We're in a whole different universe now. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna be real with you guys. When it comes to Danger by Ua. Yes, at the beginning, it really reminded me of the Purple Days. Very quirky, 
even flamboyant, I've got to say, quite the bouncy uh, song, right? But then it got me, it got me thinking of like, I don't, sort of a bit of I don't miss ya, and as well as purple, 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 and it's crazy, you know, we got a little bit of everything. I wouldn't necessarily say I love that sort of mashup of best of both worlds, but I, there's still some moments, I would say more than some moments that I appreciated in the song, whether it's that initial start to the song or uh, another verse added in for even more rap in the the song right and uh, even the so the moment near the end there with the dance break wow it took the song and it wrapped it up in the most unexpected kind of manner now is this necessarily something that i want to see even more by Ua, not necessarily considering that I'm leaning towards of like catch the stars, uh, catch the stars, uh, Pandora, for example, one of their great B sides from their discography, as well as Roller Coaster in terms of style that I feel like they can build off of and truly shine and be able to really do something in their own uh, lay can uh way. Con consistently and um, honestly uh, elevated even more with each and every release so um, it was still refreshing though I've got to say don't get me wrong and I still messed with it a song that I can definitely find myself listening to uh, here and uh, there just not as much as a uh, roller coaster or the likes of Pandora but now we're moving on okay AB6's Sugar Coat. Now, if I recall correctly, AB6 is a boy group that, you know, I feel like I mess with uh, here and there, uh, and that's due to uh, the R&B influences in their music. And then the other side of me of just not finding enough time to cover them, and I'm, I'm going to try my very best to change that next uh, year and all and I feel like Dehui uh, really surprised me with Listen Up, that show that he was on. And he surprised me before uh, that as uh, well. And uh, yeah, I can't even imagine what Sugarcoat's gonna uh, be considering the, t the title of it, let alone, right? Discs here? Some record scratches of some sort? But now we're on Shakers? Oh... Oh. Any English captions here? We do. Bit of cowbell work. Ooh, there we. Love the groove to this song. How dreamy it is so far. Ooh. Digging that keyboard work of some sort. Okay. <laughs> oh. Peter Pan, Tinkerbell. Ooh, that whistle. Wow. I'm loving this song so far, guys. And what I'm seeing visually. There's this sort of, like, jazzy contemporary influence that I'm getting in it, I feel like. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. 
Give it to us. Ooh. Just from that keyboard work to the the bass line. The ticking of the hi-hats in combination with the snare work. Wow, definitely I uh, wasn't expecting in terms of the titling of this song. Sugar Code, everyone. Sugar Code is, I would say, dare I say, in my top three echelon for AB6. I'm going to say it right away there. There's that, just that groove to it. You just can't help along but to jam along and groove to it and let loose with it. Let all your boom, bones, and hearts loose and all and have fun with it. and. Yet, I really love the dreamlike side to it. You know, it's very dreamlike. It's very easy to listen to. Plush is another word I would uh, describe it. It's just that jazzy, contemporary feel to it that you don't get often in title tracks by any means. And that's what AB6, I feel like, should be known for, if not known for uh, yet, is for their sort of R&B influence kind of side, but just getting that R&B jazz, you know, kind of side by them is pretty cool, I've got to uh, say. A little bit of a jazzy influence, but obviously quite a bit um, of R&B, I would say even some elements dipping more into alternative uh, R&B, if uh, I, 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 yeah, I would say so, yeah, I would say so, and everything's very fitting. Smoothly done with the transitions between the sex sections. The arrangement, man, the arrangements, I feel like makes it f feel so smooth with it and easy to listen to as much as the vocal direction and delivery in that song uh, is. So uh, yeah, you got to give it to Dehui and all of the members within AB6 for Sugarcoat. Definitely going to add it into one of my Spotify playlists, but we're going to dive into Copycat now by A-Pink's uh, Chabam Charong and Bomi of uh, Chorus here. English captions. Okay, perfect. Seems like they're stuck in this boxy TV. There's these mannequins. Ooh, this bass guitar. Seems like it'll be the backbone of this song. Ooh. I'm loving this so far, guys. It's very easy to listen to. <laughs> oh, already so catchy. And yet, there is a dreamy feel to this one, too. In a different kind of way, I've got to say. Like a moodier orange caramel kind of route that took with it. <laughs> Copycat. They really complement each other as a unit, right? Their voices, like obviously within A Pink, their voices worked with each other so well in the past before. But just hearing only their voices as a unit is very satisfying. Ooh. 
What is this slow burn bridge here? There's that wood block, some sort of percussion instrument that's maintaining the pacing as well, which I do dig. Very subtle mood. That is so catchy. Oh, more of a cowbell here? Yeah. Man, that was so cool yet very chillax, everyone. Oh, I forgot this guy's name. I've been watching some of his episodes oh. with some idols out Ooh. at there. I like his cameo in this though. What's going on? <sighs> <laughs> That was like a here we go again kind of sigh, I feel like. But before we get into Road B, man, oh man, no wonder why some of you guys have been talking about Copycat by A Pink's uh, Chaw Bomb, brand new unit and all. Yeah, I think the best way to describe it is this moodier feel, uh, way moodier kind of feel that I get in Copycat compared to what you typically get in Orange, Orange Caramel, if you guys are familiar with that uh, group, right? Really got me reminiscent a bit of Orange Caramel, but very moody with it. It's sort of that like cafe, coffee cafe, lounge type of song that's really easy to listen to. And uh, if you're studying music, eh, it's that's debatable because it's super catchy, but it's really chillax and, and something that you can just relax to, honestly, right? So uh, yeah, copycat. The bridge was outstanding, though. The bridge was chef's kiss, honestly. The slow burn, the shift in tempo uh, there in that moment really blew me away and added more dramatic yet. I wouldn't say that dreamy feel that I was initially getting right from the get-go within Copy uh, Cat. So props to uh, the both of them on that song. I... I'm pretty sure they came through with, with some B-sides too that I'm probably going to have to check out on my own time. But I'm going to bring up a new boy group here, of course, that is Road B nonstop. I heard good things about this uh, boy group. And m mo what got me really interested was my YouTube recommendations. They kept recommending me this on my timeline. And I feel like I need to just check it out, okay? It's been on my to-do list and must to check out. So... Yeah, I love what I'm seeing here already. We got to bring our A game. The game uh, has just begun. Go with the flow. All right. Some sort of industrial factory. Whoa. No way. Man, the amount of nostalgia that w got injected into me just now. Ooh, the piano. The synth strings. Very dramatic with it. Very passionate with it. Ooh! Like... Come on, the vocal delivery, the passion that's being delivered by the members, yet these chords being played out in this song. You don't get this in modern day K-pop, everyone. <laughs> yes!
non stop oh got me so reminiscent of the early days of k-pop that i got into Ooh. that's cool with the string work Okay, okay. The footwork there. You know, it's the type of song like like gets you in the feels and gets you passionate as well as much as the members. Build up here with the snare drum. Oh, the vocal ring, the vocal effects. Yet most importantly, the vocal arrangement is out of this world. the members are working off each other here I literally wasn't expecting like a 9.5 or hold up before we get into Icarus I know that already sounds good let alone in that the first two seconds of that literally non-stop everyone it's a 10. It's a 9.5 out of 10, or it's a 10 out of 10 throughout time. This literally has to be one of the gems of this year, okay? Non-stop, automatically reminding me of the early days of K-pop, the kind of production, the kind of vocal arrangement and vocal direction and all. And I can't express this enough. You can't, you can't just have, like... Uh, it's explained time and time before when it comes to production teams, producers, singers, songwriters. You can't be writing a song the likes of, like, Itzy for Espa or vice versa, you know what I'm saying? That I talked uh, in my uh, latest interview with Jessica Pierpoint, right? And you gotta have the members, too, as well, that are capable of doing this kind of style. And it goes to show you, Road B is capable of doing that like come on what's there not to love when it comes to the vocal arrangement which member comes after another the the delivery and direction in this song the passion the ground up kind of passion yet that sentimental feel that you get in it it's screaming throughout the entirety of the song every single second and minute of it's and uh yeah i remember talking about how chasarang csr came through with something that you don't get very often anymore you only got back in the likes of g friend the likes of the lovely early uh lovelies uh days and road b i need them to continue this i i need i need this group to continue to push on and more because what an outstanding debut uh, right I, uh, correct me if i'm wrong it is the debut and uh i feel like there's a lot of potential in the group like at this point like i, I when i was listening to the song at the after the first minute i don't care about the mv you know i don't care about what's going on i just seeing the core a pretty cool choreo with it that works with the song all right, had a nice one two step in there and the, the passion by all the members and be able to show that with a sort of all out kind of feel that you get and not often these days is everything. So that's a 9.5 or a 10 out of 10 for me, like nonstop. Ooh, literally so far my favorite um, MV and song, um, I would say out of the bunch during this binge session, but Ooh, I've been more than thoroughly enjoying all of these uh, songs, but into Icarus now. Yeah, just with... 
this bright start to the song. I like it, I like it. With the piano. Electric guitar. Oh, is there captions in this one? There is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dude. Man, the emotion in this one too. Loneliness of being alone. There's that desperation, that all-out feel that I'm getting yet again, but that passion and ambition this time around that I'm loving. I love it how they're on this helicopter pad and simply giving us a performance. Oh my goodness, a bit of a coder or a vocal effect work here. Ooh, great rap work in this, I gotta say. Really solid. Fly. Hey. Man, the rush of emotions, the tempo to the song, it's everything. Yet there's this breezy feel to it, light-hearted feel to it. Oh my goodness, the emphasis here. This member, be catching my eye. Road B. Man, oh man, they are gems. They are... I think we struck gold. I think we struck diamonds, y'all, with Road B. Non-stop Icarus, I would say it's very on par in terms of score and quality. Just different uh, uh, songs, right? Uh, the non-stop, I felt a little bit more, slightly more sentimental with it. Whereas Igaris, oh my goodness. I feel like I actually want to fly with that song, you know? Go to the touch of the sky. And the ambition in that song, right? Is everything, right? Road B, I gotta see who, who took part in Road B non-stop, okay? We gotta, we gotta... Get to the bottom of this, everyone. Road B. Oh my goodness. We got Sweet Tune in the works. And in case y'all didn't know, Sweet Tune has works with the likes of Kara. The works with the likes of Infinite. One of my all-time favorite boy groups out there. The likes of Be Mine. So that, that, that totally makes so much sense sense and even the likes of nine muses so it goes to show you you know and I, i'm pretty sure they even worked on their other song uh icarus right icarus yeah pretty much sweet tune yet again everyone that makes so much sense right in terms of that throwback nostalgia kind of feel that I'm getting, but you gotta give credit where credit is due, especially when it comes to the members.
they're able and they're capable of doing that kind of style that is not done anymore, I would say, completely right now. Uh, and, uh, yeah, definitely Gems. Gonna have to add both of their songs to my playlist, all of them. Majority of my playlist, I should say. And we'll wrap it up with 458 by CIX, everyone. All right, what do they have in store for me, for us, if case, in case you guys didn't check this out yet? I'm sure you have, right? Oh, my goodness. The piano here. A little bit of chime work. How evocative this song is already. Jeez, I love it. The clinging of the chains or something being sampled in this. Man, I love this bold, evocative, sexy side of CIX. It's everything. Love the choreo, very subtle with it, to yet powerful. This arrangement, though, I gotta say, is quite fascinating to the song. Like how the sections are being played out. Rari! Oh yeah, oh boy, I want to run into your Ferrari. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was good. That was a good verse three. Woo. Yeah, this screams alternative R and B. Whoa, that digital ending there. That is dope. Now that is dope, everyone. What a way to wrap up this binge session with y'all. 458 by CIX. I feel like time and time again, if I go back even like a couple years ago, we're talking about Movie Star, we're talking about the likes of Jungle, the releases that I actually checked out. They are, it, they're the type of in their own lane kind of group, I've got to say. As much as AB6 having their own signature style of R&B and such, but this I feel like this release feels like something that wouldn't really be released by any group, boy group or girl group wise. It would be more so meant for a soloist. And the fact that they were able to do that 
as a group and give us a full out all out evocative side to them is everything very evocative very alluring and just the details in the song even though it seems quite minimal right sustain sparse in terms of the arrangement of the song it's very effective it gets you engaged it gets you enthralled right and that's obviously example of like verse three and in the chorus which is oh my goodness that ferrari line i will not get out of my head for quite some time and i i think it really relies on i feel like this song really relies on the meaty sections which is the pre-chorus and chorus uh, to this song i've got to uh say and that's good that's really uh good even though right i could clearly distinctly hear what's going on in terms of the music production to this song oh wow how as it progresses and progresses the added elements and instruments to the song add to it is everything as well bx man young on a verse three right it was it was it before the bridge i'm gonna have to double check here because i, I told you about the arrangement it i got i got caught in a gaze like i went in a whole trance about this song yeah in verse three yeah it was a verse three and then we got hit with the bridge before we got hit with a final chorus and don't even get me started about the sort of minimalistic set and set up for them yeah yeah it's like everything was geared and i would say highlighted upon the members they were the focal point in this song not only the vocals but the visuals obvious uh leo is cool with chains and on their fits that, that were provided uh, to them it re really reminds me of i would say as well as uh in sugarcoat uh by ab6 it's the focal point is the members themselves right so yeah i like how we get in sugarcoat by ab6 we get that all i would say a bit of rmb but quite heavily contemporary jazz influence in that song whereas 458 by cix is definitely full all out alternative r&b and dance right so all in all tempest they really blew me away and i'm so glad that i gave them another chance they surprised me gave me a rush of emotions it was so in in love and in joy with that song beautiful lie it goes to show you the consistency and quality that tan delivers time and time after again Ua. We sort of got the best of both worlds from their previous releases. It, it felt like almost a mashup per se, which can be a good thing or a bad thing when it comes to regular listeners like me, as well as just people outside of the fandom, right? If they didn't understand what they released prior to Danger, they wouldn't get the gist of it, you know what I'm saying, right? But I, there's a lot to appreciate in that song with the additional uh, rap uh, moments and that dance break of course that switched up the song entirely felt like in a different entire song wouldn't be necessarily something that i wouldn't want them to see them carrying on like a whole mashup of uh say a splice of a release um i just want them to really carry on roller coaster and the likes of catch the stars or you know like i i said when it comes to their b-sides right their b-sides they always deliver when it comes to, to their b-sides sugar coat man oh man everything was easy to listen to dreamlike and smooth with it same with copycat by chubbomb a uh, new uh, unit from a pink lounge more so cafe coffee lounge type of music that had wow what a surprising uh bridge non-stop icarus by road b they are a gem of a boy group that we need to keep our eyes and ears on and s honestly support openly support and share their music i feel like they're criminally underrated even though it's this early in their stage that that music video non-stop needs to hit beyond that or the views that it has right now and icarus needs to hit one mil right it wasn't even at one mil if i recall correctly when i first checked it out with y'all today 
and then four five eights what a way to wrap it up on an evocative song and uh as some may know bx do be the bias for cix it's been a long time since i've covered them so i'm really glad that i did some coverage for them today sorry if uh, th i made this too long i couldn't help myself to do some of my analytical work this will probably end up being a reaction and review binge session as a whole even though it won't end up saying probably in the title of uh, this video but yeah feel free to check out more of these groups if you've heard them for the first time and enjoyed their songs uh right there's more beneath the eye beneath the ears they have really good discographies uh road b the first at first listen you know and seeing them carry on that quality with the same people working behind the scenes is everything the early gen feel that you don't get and sound that you don't get anymore tempest there's still a lot of potential in that group and i feel like if they carry on with something with can't stop shining right or uh their other really i can't remember exactly all the other releases uh but not their latest release I, uh, their latest release i didn't really fully mess with too up in my um kind of taste of like too loud uh, per se not taste but uh, it's too loud and upfront for me honestly tan yeah ooh, uh, all the all of them okay so hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as i did uh and all discovered new music with me i'm probably gonna try to do more of these uh into the next year when i'm behind schedule and i'm just gonna do a full all-out uh binge it just seems like the realistic and the right thing uh, to do because doing separate videos like tens and tens and and stopping them midway because you know uh, how much these videos take time to do and all so uh, yeah I'm probably gonna do more binges here if you have any more recommendations be sure to let me know I'll probably check out the b-sides for all of these uh, groups either on my own time or early on patreon or later on the channel uh, here so take care as always, be sure to like, share, maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so, so much. This has been Garrison though, and peace.